Hey, um, welcome to another episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. This is the Halloween special for 2018, guys. As well as... Episode 36 of the current series. So let's get right on with the show, shall we? And start with Red, a creepy pasta. Now, this creepy pasta tells the story of a man who checks into a hotel, and before he's given his key, the receptionist pre warns him not to look in to a room that's been locked and barred off because it is forbidden. Off limits. He promises he wouldn't and she gives him the key. But on his way to his room, his curiosity gets the better of him and he looks through the keyhole and sees a lone woman dressed in white crying, thinking nothing of it. He carries on to his room and goes to bed. Next morning, however, as he passes the same room, he looks again through the keyhole, and all he sees is the colour red. That's it. Nothing but a deep shade of red. And he then goes down to the reception area and reports what he's seen. And the receptionist sighs, oh, You looked through the keyhole, didn't you? The man admits that he did, and then the receptionist thinks to herself, okay, I might as well just tell you what happened. Years ago, a man murdered his wife in that room. And now her ghost haunts it. And uh, yeah. That's right, guys. It's meant to be bone chilling this time of year. And I know I meant to start filming for this at the start of the month, but obviously I got sidetracked. And I know we are four and a half days away from Halloween, so I've got to get this done fast now. So... Well, that's all down to my carelessness and not being ready for it first. So now, guys, how about I show you a Halloween animation? Take a look at this, would you? Ha, ha, ha. It's time for something spooky to happen. Whoa, whoa. Those scares don't work on other camp counselors. We need some campers. Yes, but where are we going to find them? That's my question. We had to invite them here, that's my answer. So our problem is getting campers to come to our camp. Yes, that's right, but how do we do that? Whoa, like I said, we have to invite them here. So we need to send out information pamphlets. to try and get campers interested in, in our camp. Who made you the head counselor anyway? I mean... Aren't we all spooky enough? Well, I don't know. Are there any of you axe-wielding murderers? I have the solution to our problem. 
Let's hear it then, buddy. Share with us. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be delighted to hear your idea on how to get campers interested. Leave it for the sarcastic one to say something like that. We need to be serious here, for we do not want anyone to think we're not serious about this. No, indeed we don't. So let's get started. Yes, we need to get out there ourselves and see if we can get the interest of children especially. Okay, guys, now that Halloween animation you just saw was part of one of my new animated shows. And I hope you enjoyed it. Moving on now. To our next item. <sighs> and I'm doing this because I want to. Let's talk about horror films now. The type of films that ought to be watched at this time of year. And certain series of them. Okay, maybe not. But before I get on to the next real item, how about another animation? Take a look at this one. Hey there! I thought you had forgotten to come back. Before we begin, the genie character is a tribute to the late actor Robin Williams. So, without further ado, let's get on with the story. Episode 9, Marilyn's Spooky Tale, Chapter 3, The Genie. Why does Mum still insist on treating me like a baby? I wish she wouldn't. I believe I can help you there, Marilyn Defoe. Ah, uh, who or what are you? I am your friendly neighborhood genie. A genie? Really? Yes. But you can call me William Robbins. Very well, William Robbins. I need help. I know. I heard you make a wish. That's what called me here. I will reinstate that wish and give you two more. In that case... My first wish is that my mum stops treating me like a baby. Granted. You now have two wishes. My second wish is that everything that happens from this point on be canon. Granted. And your final wish? My final wish is that I get a new look from next episode onwards. Granted. Three good wishes. All granted. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Later that night. There you are, sweetie. What took you so long? I met a genie who gave me three wishes, I heard about that. They all came true. So what's going to happen now? Well, I'm going to help you get ready and talk you into bed. And then I'm going to get you some dinner. Thanks, Mom. And that's our Halloween story for this year. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next episode. Are you scared yet? E e e yeah yeah yeah. No.
Okay, that means I get to scare you even more if I can. Because the animation you just saw there was a Halloween special of another new animated show. Well, it's all going to be up to date Halloween animations here. For whichever shows in the animated world have had them done already. So, the next item will be an urban legend being retold. You just heard a creepy pastor. Now it's time for an urban legend. This one is called the clown statue and it tells the story of a babysitter who is hired to look after two young kids for the night while their parents are out. She is instructed to have the kids in bed by eight o'clock so and to have a good night and, and she is given permission to watch telly in the parents bedroom. So. After putting the kids to bed, she settles down to watch TV in the parents' bedroom. But she is unnerved by a life-size clown model in the corner of the room. So, she tries to ignore it, but it puts her off even more. And when the parents call to check in on her and the kids, she asks if she can cover up the clown statue. And the parents, bewildered by what she's just asked them, tell her they don't have a clown statue and to get out, to grab the kids and get out of the house because there's an intruder in there. But the problem is, by the time the babysitter gets to the kids' room, the kids have been murdered. The police occasionally then arrive and hunt down the intruder. Or well, the babysitter gives a report. <sighs> okay. And if that hasn't scared you, I don't know what will. And a lot more stuff like that still to come. But now, how about I show you this bit of game footage? Take a look.
And that footage, guys, was from a game called Halloween City. That's right. So now, guys. It's time to move on to our next item. Which would be, well, how about trying to imagine crossovers between horror characters and other genres. Oh, this might not be too easy to do. But first of all, let's imagine the Ghostface Killer in the world of The Exorcist. Okay, a man or a woman in a ghost costume going around killing people against Pazuzu, the demon in The Exorcist, inhabiting young Reagan's body. I don't think that'd be a very fair fight. <laughs> but that's in the same genre. I said different genres. So let's take Back to the Future and put Chucky there. Chucky in Back to the Future. So if Chucky managed to find his way in to the DeLorean and steal it for a joyride, only to then go back in time and kill a bunch of people in the Renaissance. <laughs> you see where I'm coming from, guys? I didn't think so. So now, why don't we take... Here's one for you. Let's take Michael Myers and put him in the universe of Harry Potter. <laughs> Michael Myers in the universe of Harry Potter. Harry Potter and the Halloween Killer. Oh dear. They'd be using their magic to try and fight a mudblood serial killer who's now joined the Death Eaters. We don't accept Muggleborns. What's going on here? But then, where he doesn't talk, they just assume he's one of them. Until it's revealed that it's not actually a wizard, but a muggle in a white mask and a boiler suit who goes around killing people with a knife. So then the Death Eaters turn on Michael and use a Vada Kedavra on him. I can just see that working as a fan fiction. <laughs> well, it would have been a lot easier if I tried to imagine the leprechaun in Harry Potter's universe because he is a magical creature. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's... Alex, where are we? I believe we're in the Plotagon universe. Plotagon universe? Yes, that's right, sis. Why so surprised? It's just that. We haven't yet visited a 3D universe. Oh, but we have. Don't you remember our first visit to the Evertoon universe? But of course. Silly me. What is the noise? Probably just some kids playing a prank on us. Are you sure it's not a ghost? Don't be silly, Lauren. Alex, I think you should trust me on this. 
It's a ghost. Okay, Lauren. You're starting to scare me now. You creep. We are brother and sister. Sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. I think we need some time alone for a bit. That sounds like bones breaking. Hello there, sir. I'm Marilyn Defoe. Who are you? Hello, Marilyn. Alex is the name. Nice to meet you. Likewise, Alex. What's your last name? Oh, my last name is Drake. And where are you from? My sister Lauren and I are from the Marina universe. So you're travelers who hop between universes? That's right. We look different in each one because our bodies adapt to suit our environment. That's nothing out of the ordinary. Strange things happen here all the time. You look pretty. Are you coming on to me? I'm only 14 years old. Oh. Sorry. I thought you were at least 21. Hello there young lady. Who are you? My name's Lauren Drake. And you are? Kim Defoe. I'm looking for my daughter Marilyn. Have you seen her? Afraid not, Kim. My brother Alex might have. Okay, thanks. No worries. Are you and Alex new? We've never seen you before. Oh no. We're just visiting from the Movie Me universe. Oh I see, so you're just travelers who hop between universes? That's right. We look different in each one because our bodies adapt to suit our environment. That's nothing out of the ordinary. Strange things always happen here. I can help you find your daughter if you like. I need to find my brother. Then, we can help each other. Welcome back. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm afraid, though, we're coming towards the end of this very quick Halloween special. So, one more thing we have time for. And that's this. Whoa. Uh, so sorry, it couldn't have been a bigger video, a bigger episode this year. But that's that. I was meant to have assistance, but didn't end up having it. So, there you go. For this year's Halloween. And for October. Bye. And happy Halloween everybody.